Hello everyone. Good morning. Am I live? Can you see me? Can you hear me? Uh, give me a thumbs up in the chat box. All the students, those who are listening me live, give me a confirmation that you can see me, you can hear me, so I can start the session ahead. Okay, I guess it's working. Give me a minute to open the chat. Give me a minute. Okay, yes. So I welcome you all for today's session. A very, very good morning to all of you. I am Dr. Priyanka Sajdev here and today I am here to take an important topic from immunology in microbiology. Now many students requested me that they have problem in understanding ELISA. The, just a second, the principle behind ELISA and basically the various types of the ELISA. So, today in this session, I will brief you all about ELISA, the various types of ELISA. What is the principle behind that? What is the use of the ELISA? What is the difference between various techniques of ELISA? So, in short, we will master ELISA today, right? So, let me start ELISA. Uh, the full form of ELISA, E-L-I-S-A is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. It's enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. That is known as ELISA. ELISA is also known as EIA, E I A. That is immuno enzyme immunoassay, right? So one and the same thing. Now the point is that why it is known as enzyme linked immunosorbent assay? There are two reasons. Number one, here we use enzyme. Here actually we use enzyme. I will tell you what enzyme we use. We use such an enzyme. Now what is the enzyme? Enzyme is such a thing which converts substrate to product. So basically we will take the enzyme we will take the antibody uh, labeled with the substrate so just suppose this is my antibody on the tail of the antibody i will apply the substrate i will apply the substrate so this is substrate labeled antibody right um actually enzyme labeled antibody we will take enzyme labeled antibody and we will put substrate on that if enzyme if antibody is present enzyme is present it will convert substrate to product and product is always a colored product here the product which is formed is a colored product. So visibility is good. Whenever substrate get converted into product that means enzyme is present. And that means antibody is present. So I will explain you why process also. So that's why it is known as enzyme linked. Because here antibody will be enzyme linked number one. Number two why it is known as immunosorbent. So we apply ELISA on a plate. You have seen this plate. This is known as ELISA plate. On the ELISA plate we have multiple wells. Can you see? This is known as wells. These all are known as wells. Inside which we take the sample of the patient. Now, let me draw a well separately. Just suppose this is a well. One of the well on the ELISA plate in which I will apply the test, the patient sample to see whether it is positive or negative. Now, it is a property that all the wells are coated with a material. The material is immunosorbent. What do you mean by immuno? sorbent what do you mean by that material the green color material i have drawn all the wells are coated by this material by immunosorbent material i mean such a material you can split the term immuno means antigen as well as antibody both and sorbent means adsorption adsorption you know what is the meaning of adsorption adsorption in in chemistry you may have heard it's like absorption only so like this is a well let me draw a well again. This is a well. This well is coated with this immunosorbent material, right? Now, if I put antigen on it, so antigen will stick here. This is the antigen. It will absorb here. If I wash it, it will not go because it is absorbed. And if I put antibody here, if I put antibody like this here, it will also get absorbed. So, such a material on which the antigen and the antibody both are adsorbed and on washing they do not go such a material is known as immunosorbent sorbent material sorbent for the immuno immuno means antigen and antibody i guess you got the concept you got it mukul uh, abdullah janvi sai everyone everyone ikwira amir everyone you got the concept so if you know the basic now understanding eliza is like fun believe me so that is the meaning of immunosorbent right so you can see uh, in one plate we have multiple wells we have multiple uh, wells in one plate so we can apply multiple patient sample in one go only so in a single shot we can apply all the patient sample in a single go right all the wells are coated by immunosorbent material, right? And in the end, whether ELISA is positive or ELISA is negative, it is seen by color change. 
if color change is there eliza is positive if color change is not there it is negative it depends on eliza to eliza i will explain you three different types of eliza so here also you can see various types of colors like the orange like the blue so by the change in color we will see whether it is positive or negative so this is the basic this is the basic so okay we will take an example of aids just suppose there is a patient in my clinic there is a patient in my clinic and i i am suspecting the patient is having aids right i'm suspecting that i'm not sure so i want to test it so we know aids is caused by a virus the name of the virus is hiv virus or retrovirus right so what i will do to confirm that i will take the blood sample of this patient in a test tube in the test tube there is blood sample now there are two ways to confirm it either i test the antigen that is the virus that is the hiv virus inside that if it is positive it is confirmed that the patient is having infection right or else the second way i will test the antibodies against the hiv in that patient right against the hiv anti hiv antibodies if antibodies are also present now then also it is proven that the patient is having infection so if we want to prove this patient have any particular infection not only aids any 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 infection if i want to prove it with elisa there are two ways either i have to prove that particular antigen is present in the blood or i have to prove the particular antibody is present in the blood so we are basically having various types of elisa uh, some elisa are for antigen and detection and some elisa are for antibody detection you got it you got it so we can prove both we can prove both either antigen is present it is proven or antibody is present it is also proven right antibody will present only if antigen is present otherwise antibody will not come if the patient blood have antibody for hiv so it means that patient is having infection of hiv then only antibody is making antibody now so you can detect anything of your choice whether it's your choice you can detect the antigen or it's your choice you can detect the antibody theek hai you got it so this is the basic right so read the first line ELISA is for detection of antigen as well as antibody. We can detect both using ELISA, right? So it is a very sensitive technique where we use enzymes and immunosorbent material. There are three types of ELISA: the sandwich ELISA, indirect ELISA, and competitive ELISA. Now, what is the difference between them? Students have most of the students have confusion between them, and their concepts are not very clear, right? Okay, let me clarify. so the first so these are the three type of elisa the sandwich indirect and competitive i will explain you all three and the master diagram going to be like this this is our master diagram in which i am going to explain you all three elisa it will be a fun believe me give me just 10 minutes you will understand everything about it right let me start with sandwich elisa so the first elisa is sandwich elisa so in sandwich elisa we detect antigen in the sample and in the next two elisa that is indirect and competitive we detect antibody in the sample i will explain you the difference in these two also so this is the basic you have to understand in sandwich elisa we detect the antigen in the sample of the patient and in the next two elisas indirect and competitive we detect the antibody in the sample of the patient right now as i have told you it's your choice being a doctor it's your choice what you want to detect in your patient sample you want to detect antigen in the sample or you want to detect antibody in the sample to prove that the particular patient have infection particular infection you can do any ways or you can do both also to double confirm double sure so that is the three type of elisa theek hai now we we will take a well this is a well as i have told you elisa plate have various wells now wells wells are coated by immunosorbent material that also i taught you so this is the coating can you see the coating the coating this coating this coating is basically immuno sorbent material it's immunosorbent material right now as i told you let me talk about the first elisa the sandwich elisa what we want to detect janvi abdullah osama amir ram mukul what do you want to detect in sandwich what we detect i told you na in sandwich we want to detect antigen sandwich eliza we want to detect the antigen in patient's blood so it is a rule it is a rule that in all eliza we start with opposite if you want to detect antigen start with antibody if you want to detect antibody start with antigen again the rule these are some rules in eliza right so yes yes analypse are very good you want to detect antigen so uh, how you will start you will start with antibody you will start with antibody so in sandwich eliza let me explain you sandwich eliza so all the eliza have four steps in step 1 all all three type of eliza step 1 step 2 step 3 step 4 
so in all three type of ELISA in the first step we start with opposite we start with opposite I am writing the word opposite if you want to detect antigen coat the well with antibody and if you want to detect antibody coat the well with particular antigen so particular antigen and antibody for that it is available in the market so you start the coating the well I will explain you just understand the rules in the second you add the sample of the patient sample of the patient patient sample so patient sample either contain antigen or antibody that will react with this if it is positive right in step number three you put here antibody coated with enzyme enzyme linked antibody and in the last step you have always add substrate so if substrate will convert into product color change will be there so these are the four standard steps okay you all have confusion i know i know so okay let me start with the first ELISA your confusions will be clear so the first ELISA is sandwich ELISA okay see sandwich don't see indirect right now don't see competitive right now don't see these two columns see the first column sandwich ELISA you can see the four wells the four step step one step two step three step four you got my point you got my point so these are the four steps I will draw the four steps for you for two samples for positive sample or negative sample so let me draw the step one imagine these are two wells i'm taking i'm i'm applying a sandwich eliza right on a patient sample right now imagine i'm having two sample this is my sample number one of first patient this is my sample number two of second patient right i am a doctor i am suspecting that both of these patients have hiv i'm suspecting that but i'm not sure so i asked my both the patient patient a and patient B you go to the lab and apply sandwich ELISA in both of you right so both the patients are going to the lab and they are giving their blood sample you can see the blood sample of patient number A and patient number B right now actually I am right in patient number A this patient number A is actually positive for HIV but patient B is negative so my suspicion is wrong I am, I am wrongly so sometimes it happens now based on the simple uh, symptoms I am suspecting but I am wrong patient have some other disease but not the that particular hiv disease right so i am wrong but i am thinking that it may have so it will be proven in eliza right so we will see what will happen in both of them so basically i am going to apply sandwich in both of them sandwich eliza in both of them so step number one we will take two wells right both the wells are already coated with immunosorbent material that should you know you already know so i'm not drawing the immunosorbent material you already know that yes or no you know that yes or no you know yes so it is coated with immunosorbent material now we want to test the antigen so i will start with antibody say i will start with antibody so the antibody of hiv is available in the market so you just apply it is available in the market you don't take patient sample it is available so you are suspecting hiv now so you apply anti hiv antibody in both the wells if you are suspecting rotavirus you apply antibody for that if you are uh, suspecting something else you apply the antibody for that so whatever you are suspecting apply the antibody in the well for that it is available it is already available in the market that is your step one and it is immunosorbent coated now so this antibody will not go in washing this antibody also will not go in washing that is understood no need to say this again and again it should be understood right now that is step number one in step number two you will put patient sample in both of them let me draw two wells again so in step number two i am putting the patient sample in both of them you have to understand it right so here also we are having patient a here also we are having patient b so i am applying the patient sample here also patient sample here also but the thing is that patient a is positive so antigen is present so that antigen will bind with the antibody because antigen is present patient is actually positive but patient b my suspicion is wrong right patient b don't have antigen so there is nothing to bind here with the antibody patient sample don't have antigen for that uh, antibody maybe patient have some other antigen some other disease but i have applied the antibody for hiv patient don't have hiv virus so there is no antigen antibody reaction in patient b you can understand in patient a there is antigen antibody reaction that is step number two so in step number one you start the coating the well with opposite that is available in the market you want to test antigen you apply with antibody right in step number two you are, you have put patient sample now in step number three let me draw the two well again let me draw the two well again step number three in step number three what we will do i will explain you give me a minute let me draw the diagram till now let me copy it till now then additionally in step three what we are doing i will explain you 
you can see the patient a in, in which antigen antibody reaction is there you can see patient b no antigen antibody reaction is there now in step number three you will put again antibody against that antigen only available in the market like the starting point in the starting point what you have done you have taken the antibody available in the market for that particular antigen you are suspecting if you are suspecting hiv take anti hiv antibody in the market but the only thing this time antibody is enzyme linked it is linked with enzyme so can you see i'm drawing the antibody it is linked with the enzyme right so in patient a i'm putting the antibody against that antigen only so what is it you will ask me ma'am what is the difference between green and purple you have drawn two antibodies the green below and the purple ab above yeah yes so green is also antibody against the red antigen purple is also antibody against the red antigen just suppose the red antigen is hiv so both of these are anti hiv antibody the only difference the green one the below one they are not enzyme coated and the above one the purple one they are enzyme coated everyone give me a thumbs up on this point if you got the difference between the two antibodies both are against hiv but one is enzyme coated one is one is not enzyme coated you got it janvi osama abdullah ram mukul everyone amir yes you got it or not give me a thumbs up so that is the difference right so here in patient a this antibody will also go and bind with the antigen so can you see the antigen is in the center see see everyone see the antigen is in the center and both sides are on the antibody have you ever eat a sandwich any sandwich aloo masala sandwich you know any sandwich cheese sandwich so in sandwich there is a middle layer and the two bread slice so here the, the antigen is the center and the two type of antibody are on both sides that's why it is known as sandwich i guess you got the meaning of the sandwich now so in sandwich in the central layer of the sandwich the potato layer of the sandwich is the antigen and both side the bread slices are the two type of antibody one enzyme coated one non enzyme coated give me a thumbs up this is sandwich eliza so in patient a this is a scenario but imagine in patient b what will happen so here i am putting antibody same step 3 is enzyme coated antibody enzyme linked antibody but here will these antibody bind with antibody cannot bind with antibody no antibody can bind with antigen but since there is no antigen these antibody will not bind and they will go in washing they will go in every step we are doing washing i forgot to tell you at every step we are doing washing at every step but these antibodies will not go in patient a in patient a why they will not go because this is immunosorbent material so they are holding the green antibodies the green one are holding the red antigen and the red one are holding the purple one so they are forming a tree one above the other and they all will stand washing they cannot go in washing any of the three they will stand here but imagine the patient b in patient b the green one are holding because of immunosorbent the green one will not go there anywhere they will there only but there is no antigen in the patient sample antigen is absent right i have told you na here in patient b sample there is no antigen so there is no antigen antibody reaction so when we add the purple antibodies that is enzyme coated antibodies enzyme linked antibodies they will go in washing because antibody cannot bind with antibody and they will remain free if they remain free they will go in washing give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up the last step come on the last step the last step i'm i'm drawing here only in step 3 just add substrate substrate for the enzyme linked antibody the purple antibody is the enzyme linked one now it is enzyme linked so for that enzyme what is the substrate add that substrate so i am adding the substrate here so substrate will act by the enzyme and enzyme will convert the substrate to product so here we will see color change but here if i add substrate no color change because no enzyme the enzyme linked antibody they are already gone in washing so there is no enzyme here you got my point so in patient b there is no enzyme because the purple antibodies are already gone in the washing since no enzyme substrate will not convert into product no color change but here since enzyme is present because the antibody is present enzyme linked antibody so here substrate will get convert to product because the enzyme is present and color change is visible so here we can see color change positive here we will see no color change so here we will see color change negative so let me conclude let me conclude finally let me conclude so what is the conclusion can you help me if color change is positive the test is positive if color change is negative the test is negative so that is sandwich eliza i guess you all got it the meaning of the sandwich in sandwich there is a central layer 
of potato and the two bread slices so here the central layer is the antigen you all can see and the two bread slices are the two type of the antibodies one is not enzyme coated one is enzyme coated i guess that is the basic right so that is sandwich eliza the four steps can you enumerate the four step any of you you can you can can you enumerate the four step please help me step number one in sandwich eliza you want to test antigen so start with antibody step one coat the well coat the well with antibody it is available in the market step two add patient sample always add patient sample you don't know patient is positive or negative in the end you will come to know but whatever is your patient sample if you are suspecting just add it in the end we will come to know whether the patient is positive or negative you got my point add patient sample it may contain antigen it may not contain antigen we don't know that's why we are testing step number three again add antibody like step one only again add antibody but this time the antibody is enzyme linked okay and the last step add substrate if enzyme is present substrate will get converted to product and color change will be there but if not and no enzyme is present because antibody is gone in the washing so substrate will not change into product and no color change i want tapsa uh, analipsa i will tell you the name of the substrate and enzyme the combination both but in the end analipsa let me explain you the three types of um, Eliza, in the end, I will tell you the exact name of the substrate and enzyme what you are talking about. Apart from this query, do you have any other query? Any other query apart from the name of enzyme and substrate? Anyone? If you don't have, everyone give me a thumbs up. Jitne audience, usme thumbs up. You got it? You got it? So if I remove this page now, I will not be able to, um, you know, this page will not come again. Right? So can I remove this page? You got it? You got it? Everyone have drawn? Yes? So you can see in the books what it is written. I'm waiting for your thumbs up. Come on. You can see the sandwich Eliza. See the sandwich one. The first one. See the first one. Don't see the second. Don't see the third. See only first one. So in the first one, you all can see we are starting with antibodies. So these are antibodies. You can see I'm drawing here. Step two, I'm adding patient sample. So patient sample here only positive one is taken. Negative one is not taken. So it contains antigen. So antigen is forming bond with antibody. In the third step, we are again add, add, adding the antibody. So one antibody is below, one is above. But this antibody is enzyme linked. And lastly, we are adding the substrate. You can see the substrate is giving the color change because substrate get converted to product. Right. You got my point. So color change is there. It means it's positive. So this is the summary. I guess you got it. Yes. So you have to enumerate like that. Now see how to write in your exam. If you are a second prof student, how to write an exam? How to write? So sandwich Eliza is for antigen detection. First learn that it is not for antibody. It is for antigen detection. So in the exam, in your books, all your standard textbook, whatever standard textbook you are following for your exam, it is given in the form of the paragraphs. No, don't write paragraphs in your university exam. If you want to excel in your university exam, you want to get distinctions, gold medal. Now try to write the flow charts. It's, it's easy for you to write and it's easy for the examiner to check the copy and understand what you want to explain right if you write a paragraph now it will be boring for you also and it will be boring to read for the examiner also so write in the form of the flowchart see how beautifully i have drawn the flowchart of the sandwich eliza you all can see so we have taken the well the well of the plate the well of the plate are coated with antibody for the antigen we want to detect we are suspecting whatever antigen take the well coat it with that particular antibody now add sample Add the specimen step two is add this is step one this is step two now if antigen may be present may be absent in the sample if it is present it will bind with the antibody so antigen antibody reactions will take place right step number three again add antibody but this time the antibody is enzyme linked enzyme linked antibody right so a sandwich is formed a sandwich is formed the last step uh, the last step is add the substrate now if color change is there it is positive no color changes they are negative so see how beautifully i have enumerated step one two three four in the form of the flowchart with the conclusion with the summary everyone give me a thumbs up this is how you have to draw in your exam and you have to write and if you are preparing for some competitive exam need pg fmg inict usmle whatever so the concept is important if you know the concept you can imagine how beautifully mcqs can be framed on it and how beautifully image based question can be created on it on any step i can ask you for the labeling you can do that now right 
that is all about sandwich eliza right now in the and color change is there now so we can see the color change with naked eye we don't require any microscope color change will be seen from red to blue and like that we can see it is positive it is negative right so imagine a well i am applying step one step two step three step four all one by one so initially the it was red color and in the end from red to some other color like red to green color is there so it will be visible to the naked eye at fourth step we have to see color change we don't require a microscope now for the intensity now some will give light green some will give dark green right the intensity of the color depend on the viral load more antigen more color change less antigen less color change so you will say ma'am is it a quantitative test we can measure the viral load also antigen load also i will say it is semi quantitative it is semi quantitative so the intensity of the color will decide the antigen load how much antigen is present more antigen more intense more dark color less antigen lighter color less intense color you got my point so how to measure the intensity it can be subjective now i say oh i'm oh my god it's a dark color you will say no ma'am it's a light color so subject to subject we can vary so for that there is an instrument it is known as spectrometer right spectrometer so with the help of spectrophotometer we can measure the intensity of the color and based on which we can decide the antigen load how much antigen is present antigen is present if color change is there even light or dark antigen is present but how much so for that we can use the spectrophotometer if we require so color detection can also be seen with naked eye if spectrophotometer is not available in the end give me a thumbs up everyone can we go ahead now at every step washing is there i am not saying it again and again but every all four steps step 1 washing step 2 washing step 3 washing step 4 washing after washing see the color change because whatever free you want to just wash it out right okay we are done with the sandwich eliza i guess you all are with me right let me start the next eliza indirect eliza the second eliza now as i have told you sandwich is for antigen detection indirect is for antibody detection antibody in the sample now there is a patient in my clinic i am suspecting the patient is having aids aids is caused by hiv we all know that so i want to prove the patient is having infection for hiv so i will take the blood sample of this patient in a test tube now in this test tube i will test the antibody for hiv hiv anti i'm not testing antigen if antibody is also present it means that the patient is having infection so infection can be proved either by antigen detection or by antibody detection so by indirect elisa we will test the antibody right so we will do the same four step but step one start with opposite so here we want to test the antibody we will start with antigen we will take the well we will coat the well we will coat the well with antigen it is available in the market in the market antigen antibody both are available so the first thing indirect elisa is not for antigen it's for antibody the first thing you should understand give me a thumbs up right now see okay so we will draw it we will draw it again the same two samples one positive one negative imagine this is a well this is also a well i am having two samples with me this is patient a and this is patient b you can see here also i am having a sample here also i am having a sample i want to test the antibody in both of them for hiv or for anything so i am applying indirect elisa in both of them i am going to apply the four steps of indirect elisa in both of them in step 1 i want to test the antibody now so i will start with antigen i will start with antigen so let me take antigen antigen you can use any colors ha huh? the color should be different so here i am coating the well with antigen the hiv antigen is available in the market whatever antigen you are suspecting now that is available in the market start your test with antigen this antigen is not from the sample i am clarifying again and again it is external external we are putting now it is absorbed absorbed on the well it is absorbed on the well because of the immunosorbent material no need to say right now step number 1 is over so you put antigen here you put antigen here so step 1 is adding antigen the external antigen step 2 is adding your sample so let me draw step 2 in step 2 i will add my sample patient sample patient sample to test so here also i will add the patient sample and here also i will add the patient sample let me do that so here i am adding the patient sample here also i am adding the patient sample so in patient a actually antibodies are present so they will bind with the antigen because it is a positive sample right but in patient b my 
my suspicion is wrong i'm wrong based on symptom i'm i'm thinking patient is having hiv but actually patient don't have right so patient don't have antibody so no antibodies in the sample so no antigen antibody reactions are there but in patient a antigen antibody reaction is there give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs up in step 3 you what do you do so let me tell you the step 3 in step 3 again you will take antibody let me draw the two wells again now this is important step step 3 makes the difference right step 3 is really difficult to understand okay so this is your patient a right the antigen this is your patient b right this is the antigen i have to draw the same thing again and again to explain you right in patient a the antibody is present so it is antigen antibody reaction in patient b no antibody because it is a negative sample right but we don't know now patient is positive or negative that's why we are testing now in step 3 you will again add antibody but this time antibody is number one enzyme length but this antibody is not against antigen like sandwich in sandwich also remember sandwich in sandwich also we have taken two antibodies both were against the antigen the antigen was in the middle and the two antibodies are above and below one is enzyme link one is not enzyme link right that's why it is known as sandwich the antigen is in the middle but this time the antibody is against antibody you got my point anti anti antibody actually the antigen for this purple antibody is antibody only the antigen for the antibody is antibody only it is known as antibody against antibody you got my point so this time this enzyme linked antibody is against antibody you got my point give me a thumbs up on this if you got my point it is a very big point i am explaining you give me a thumbs up everyone jitne audience utni thumbs up ye point samajh mein aaya kya sandwich mein jo humne antibody li thi step 3 mein wo antigen ke against hi thi lekin yahan pe jo hum antibody le rahe hain wo antibody ke against hai ye jo purple wali antibody hai na iska iska antigen red wali antibody hai antibody against antibody right so can you see so here the here the bond will take place because the previous antibody is present red one which is in the patient sample so this purple antibody now this purple one is external right but the red one is from patient sample right so because the patient sample is positive so red antibody is present that's why purple will remain there it will not go in washing so all will form bond above each other right now the first thing is that there is an immunosorbent material in the well so antigen will not go anywhere it will stick to that now with that antigen the red antibodies are sticking and with that red antibody the purple one are sticking so all are forming a tree one above the other nothing will go in the washing if you wash it nothing will go everyone is sticking to one another and they will not go you got my point you got my point add the same antibody in patient b the purple one what you will get if you add purple antibodies here what is the antigen for this antibody will this anti you, uh, now students have confusion they ask me ma'am why this purple antibody not binding with the antigen actually this antibody is not for antigen listen you got my point huh samajh mein aaya kya ye antibody antigen ke against hai nahi this antibody is against antibody since there is no antibody it will go in washing it will go in washing it will not remain there the purple one will go in washing it will not stick to the antigen because the antigen is not antigen antigen is antibody i don't know whether you are getting or not getting but i am trying hard give me a thumbs up if you got it right so this is the thing the last step i guess you all got it add the substrate if you add substrate here so here color change will take place because here substrate will convert into product because for converting enzyme is present because the enzyme linked antibody is present so enzyme linked antibody is not going anywhere in washing it remaining there only so enzyme is remaining there only so enzyme will convert substrate to product and color change will be there but if you add the substrate here in patient b no color change because for converting substrate to product we require enzyme there is no enzyme enzyme linked antibody already gone in washing so there is no enzyme so no color change so let me conclude conclusion is very important if color change is there it is positive sample and if no color change is there no color change in the and it is negative change negative change so you can see the color change with naked eye number one and if you want to measure the intensity you can use spectrophotometer for the uh, antibody load give me a thumbs up everyone everyone so everyone got it amir akhil ram anilipsa Har, harnani everyone Ikwara, everyone i can't read your names properly i'm sorry if i pronounce it wrongly i'm really sorry but uh, yeah everyone got it that is the main point yes can i move ahead give me a minute can we go to the third eliza yes competitive the last eliza yes i guess yes 
so that if i remove this diagram now it will not come again i have drawn it now so you don't have any problem shall i move shall i move ahead okay so you can see the indirect eliza let me divide it into three columns one two three you can see this one is sandwich we have already understood now see indirect see this column the second column indirect in step one you are taking antigen external antigen in step two you are adding the patient sample so antigen antibody reaction takes place here only positive sample are shown negative are not shown negative i am drawing it separately for your understanding but in the book only positive samples are shown to you right in the third step you are adding antibody against antibody if you zoom the diagram you can see it clearly these antibodies are against antibody and they are enzyme linked and in the fourth step you are adding the substrate so color changes there so one two three four how to write in the exam the same four steps you have to write like this right so the first thing indirect ELISA is for antibody detection not for antigen detection so the first step start the well coat the well with opposite you want to test antibody coat it with antigen external antigen available in the market right now add your patient sample this is your patient serum step two this is step one this is step two step um, two if antibody is present in the sample it will bind if it is not present it will not bind now in step three you add uh, antibody against antibody it is enzyme link antibody against antibody if you can read it properly it is antibody against antibody right so if, if already the previous sample antibody is present it will form bond and in step four you will add the substrate if color change is there it's positive no color change is there it's negative so you have to write in your exam in four points one two three four in the end conclusion so that's it that's it we are moving to the third and the last eliza competitive eliza the third and the last eliza so here also the sandwich eliza was for antigen detection right so we started with antibody indirect eliza is for antibody detection so we started with antigen right competitive is also antibody detection now you all must have a question in your mind what is the difference in these two if both are for antibody detection so in both of them we will start with antigen the opposite right then what is the difference what is the difference what is the difference what is the difference right uh, i mean it's nothing like that which is more acceptable as i have told you uh, it is up to you what do you want to detect in your patient in your patient you want to detect antigen or antibody both will work you want to prove patient have particular infection just for suppose hiv infection right so you can detect hiv virus then then it is proven or you can detect anti hiv antibodies then also it's proven it's up to you sometimes physicians want to double confirm so they order both eliza right in the lab usually for hiv we apply all three if all three are positive now then we we are triple sure right it is nothing like which is more acceptable which is less acceptable the utility of each of them is different you got my point so that is the answer so okay let me come on the third type of eliza competitive i can guarantee how many students you are attending now only 50 percent will understand this it's difficult the competitive one let me try i will ease it for you in competitive also it's for antibody like indirect now you want to understand the difference between indirect and competitive now step number three will make the difference step one two and four is same step number three will make the difference let me explain you so the first thing competitive is again for antibody again for antibodies right so let me explain you just a second this is competitive okay so here how should i explain you i will draw the diagram as usual so let me draw the two wells as usual we will draw two wells one for positive sample one for negative sample imagine i am having two wells i am having two samples this is my patient a and this is my patient b imagine patient a is positive b is negative but i am suspecting hiv in both of them maybe i am wrong maybe i am right so i ask both of my patient to go in the laboratory and apply eliza on your samples so both of their patients a and b submitted their blood sample actually a is positive and b is negative we will see the results in the end right so a have antibody in their blood b don't have antibody in their blood because b is negative so we want to test the antibody we want to apply competitive eliza and both of them i will explain you why it is known as competitive you should understand the meaning also right and it is for antibody detection so a have antibody but b don't have so step one is start with opposite you want to test antibody now start with antigen why don't you start with antigen so start with antigen take hiv antigen here also it is available in the market again and again i am saying take hiv antigen here also right that is step one is done step one is done now in step two what you will do you tell me you will add your patient sample so let me draw the two wells again let me draw 
let me draw the antigen again the external antigen i have added this external antigen in step one now in step two i am adding patient's antibody a patient sample here also i am adding here also i am adding but patient a is positive so antibody is present antibody is present but patient b is unfortunately negative actually good for the patient bad for the doctor but good for the patient patient b is negative so patient b don't have any antibody no patient b don't have anybody so in patient a antigen antibody complex taking place formation taking place but in patient b there is no antigen antibody complex formation give me a thumbs up still not same as that of indirect you will say ma'am it's same it's same what is the difference in competitive and indirect so step three will make the difference let me try step three is difficult Step 3 is really difficult. I will try my best. So let me copy the diagram till now. So step 1 is antigen as it is in both of them. Step 2 is patient sample. So patient A is positive for antibody and patient B is negative. In step 3, usually we take purple color antibodies which are enzyme linked. So in indirect we have taken antibody against antibody. Yes or no? In indirect we have taken. So here also we are taking the purple antibodies which are enzyme linked. But mind my words, these antibodies are against antigen like sandwich. These are not against antibody. Say it now. Say what I have, I have said. I am drawing the purple antibodies. Purple color antibodies which are enzyme linked. They have an enzyme in their tail. Okay. Enzyme linked, it is not important. They are against what? They are against antibody or against antigen. I am saying these antibodies are against antigen. I have a very big thing. I have a very So, I have come to understand. So, you tell me, patient A me kya hoga, B me kya hoga. In patient A, meri baat sunna. listen my words. In patient A, the antigen is already occupied. The antigen is already occupied by the antibody present in patient sample. So no free antigen is there. No free antigen is there because the antigen is already occupied by the patient sample antibody. Give me a thumbs up. So these purple antibody cannot bind with the antigen and they will go in washing. So first time it is happening that in positive patient the antibody enzyme ring is going in, in washing. So it will give no color change. So here it will be opposite. No color change means positive and color change is negative. Bohut badi baat hai. It is a big thing. You got it. You got the concept behind that. Why? Students cannot understand this. You got my point. Yes. So here the antibodies cannot bind with the antigen. Now you can understand why it is known as competitive. Competitive ka kya matlab hota hai? Competition. Actually antigen ke liye the both antibodies are competing. Both are fighting with each other that who will bind. So one type of antibody are present in patient sample. The red one. And purple one I am adding externally. Both are against the antigen. So there is a competition in both of them. Who will bind with the antigen? That's why it's known as competitive. So who will bind? The first come, the first step, jo pehle aega, wo pehle paega. Thik hai? To pehle kya kar rahe ho? The first step you are adding patient sample. The red antibody will bind with the antigen. Red antibody already, the patient sample antibody already saturate the antigen. So there is no space for the purple one, the external one, the enzyme linked one. So it will go in washing. It will go in washing. You got my point? You got my point? So that is the thing. That is the thing. Right? And uh, in the patient sample B, the second patient, which is negative. So in negative, the patient sample, the B patient sample don't have any antibody. The red antibodies were absent because the patient sample is absent. So here antigen is free. So here antigen is free. So this antibody come and bind with the antigen. This antibody come and bind with the antigen. So it will give color change. When you add the substrate, you will get color change here, not here. Give me a thumbs up. So, Amir, you got the difference between indirect and competitive. You got it. You are asking or you are telling me that you, you got it. Yes. So, what makes the difference, Amir? Can you tell me what makes? So, step number three makes the difference. Your answer should be static. You know, kya static answer? Ma'am, in step three, the enzyme-linked antibodies is different. So, in indirect ELISA, the last one, the enzyme-linked antibody in step three were against antibody. Antibody against antibody. Right. But here, the enzyme-linked antibody in step three, it is against antigen. That makes the difference. I have Right. The punchline, the bottom line, the summary. Samaj mein aaya kya? Everyone, everyone. Yes, yes. Yes, Equira. Yes, yes, Analipsa. What about others? Amir, Analipsa, Equira ke alawa. What about others? Ram and uh, what? Uh, Janvi, you got it or not? Osama, Harnani, Yogita. Aap logo ko samaj mein aaya? If you got it, give me a thumbs up. Everyone, come on. How I will come to know that you got it? Yes, Akhil, you got it. Good, good. So that is the difference. So 
so what 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 is the this is the competitive elisa let me summarize the four steps of competitive elisa so the same four steps you want to test antibody start with antigen so step 1 add antigen right in step 2 you add patient sample patient sample can have antibody cannot have antibody just suppose one patient have antibody so it will saturate the antigen one patient do not have antibody in the blood it is negative so the antigen is still free it is not saturated now in step 3 you are adding again antibody against the antigen this time antibody is anticoagulant it is external it is not from serum so in in patient a the antigen is already saturated with natural antibody present in patient sample so no free antigen is there so the enzyme linked antibody will go in washing so no color change but in patient b since the sample is negative all the antigen are free it is not saturated with antibody so when you add the external enzyme linked antibody the actually antigen antibody complex takes place and color change will take place so here a positive sample give no color change and negative patient give color change so you should keep this in mind if color change is taking place it is negative and if no color change is taking place it's positive right yahan pe ulta hai thoda usually we feel na ki color change matlab positive the first two elisa was that color change means positive right but here in the third elisa competitive elisa no color change is positive color change is actually negative uh, can i remove this diagram once i remove it i cannot draw it again right and i cannot bring it again also it will be gone so can i remove it give me a thumbs up everyone i guess you all got it yes so you can see the diagram here in the competitor you can see just a second you can see the three type of elisa concentrate on the competitor one the third one so you want to test again now you can do a comparison you can do a comparison between indirect and competitive both are for antibody detection so here also i started with antigen here also i started with antigen you can see this is only for positive sample both are for positive negative samples are not run theek hai so here you add patient sample containing antibody so it is saturating the antigen here also patient sample containing antibody saturating the antigen right but the third third point here antibody is against antibody but here antibody this is antibody this one this antibody is against antigen so here bond taking place and here no bond taking place because antigen is already saturated i guess step 3 makes the difference say yes say yes right so in the last step if color change is there in indirect it's positive and in competitive no color change is there it's positive read it properly can you can i zoom it and you can read it color change is positive no color change is positive can you see no the word no let me just a second oh what happened just a second let me open the ppt again it gets there give me a minute yeah yeah can you see i want to no i now you can see the ppt i guess so color change is positive no color change is positive i want to highlight this word i want to highlight this word right so that is the difference both are for antibody and sandwich is for antigen i guess you got the meaning of sandwich you got the meaning of indirect and you got the meaning of the competitive the word itself depict the words itself depict what does it mean give me a thumbs up everyone give me a minute to see your chat i cannot see your chat actually right now no i can see now okay so you got it can i move ahead anil ram yogita everyone can i move ahead so that is the three types of the elisa so you how to write in the form of the flow chart you already know how to write how to write in the form of the flow chart now someone analytica you were asking now the enzyme and the substrate so in all three elisa you use one of the two enzyme any of your choice you can use any of the two enzyme you can use horse radish peroxide or you can use alkaline phosphatase these are the name of the enzyme so basically you are taking a an antibody this is the antibody and the tail of the antibody have a enzyme so i always draw the enzyme like this this is enzyme it is present in the tail of the antibody this is the antibody so this enzyme i have drawn this enzyme now this enzyme can be this can be this you can use any of the enzyme learn the two names it is for more use for mcq mcq mein ye aate hain the names now what is the substrate you want to add the substrate now so these enzyme will convert substrate to colored products so the substrate is big name so if you say the enzyme is horse radish peroxide so you have to add this substrate read the name it is o phenyl diamine dichloride dihydrochloride and if it is alkaline phosphatase it is p nitrophenyl phosphatase you will say ma'am how to learn this big name don't learn 
according to me you don't learn you just have a look if it is coming in options now in your mcqs you don't have to write it you will get four options you just pick the right one so it will be written in front of you a b c d you have to just pick it up right and in your theory exam you don't have to write these names you don't have to write if you know the principle the basic method the conclusion the diagram that's more sufficient for second prof mbbs exam but for competitive exam need pg fmg inict you have to pick it up from the option so just have a look you got my point you got my point so can i move ahead can i move ahead so thank you very much thank you very much for the compliment uh, box thank you very much anyways so what are the uses of eliza what are the uses at uh, the eliza can be used for hiv for tb for rotavirus for hepatitis and for e coli for these we can use at eliza more frequently for their antigen detection as well as for their antibody detection that's all about eliza anyone having any doubt in that so we understood the three type of eliza the direct eliza i'm sorry the sandwich eliza the indirect eliza and the last one is competitive eliza competitive eliza in all of them there are four steps there are four steps step 1 2 3 4 we have four steps so can you give the summary any one of you what is step 1 so basically first tell me the principle sandwich eliza is for what detection it is for antigen detection and indirect and competitive are for antibody detection in the sample we want to detect antigen or antibody that is the first thing you should know which eliza is for what ye to sabse basic hai theek hai now tell me the four steps step number 1 2 3 is most important and 4 Can you enumerate the four steps in each of them? Yes. Yes, Analipsa. Yes, very good. Start with the opposite, the first step. So Analipsa is absolutely right. Start with opposite. You want to test antigen? Start with antibody. You want to test antibody? Start with antigen. Start with antigen. So coat the well. You have a well now. Coat with opposite thing. That is the step number one. She is absolutely right. Everyone agree? Everyone agree? Give me a thumbs up. What is the step number two? In step number two, you have to add patient sample. so patient sample here in the patient sample i am suspecting antigen so antigen may be present may be absent if it is present it will form a bond and here patient sample may have antibody may have may have may not have if they have they will form a bond so step 2 is always patient sample right step 1 is always start with opposite step 1 is always opposite step 2 is always patient sample always what is the step 3 what is the step 3 what is the step 3 step 3 is an an enzyme linked antibody actually it's always enzyme linked antibody but against what enzyme linked antibodies against antigen or enzyme linked antibody against antibody or enzyme linked antibody against antigen so which it is enzyme linked antibody but against what so here we take against antigen so our sandwich is formed right here we take against antibody and here we take against antigen i guess you got it what i mean and last step add the substrate add the substrate so here color change color change is positive here also color change is positive but here no color change no change is positive no color change is positive i guess you know the principle behind that so that is the summary the four steps and you have to take the positive sample as well as negative sample yeah substrate add karne pe color change hai ki nahi hai that is the thing everyone got it the the main principle now please those who are not watching from the beginning they are joining right now i request them to watch this lecture from the beginning you, in your career you all are doctors i guess you all are mbbs doctors at various stages some are in their prof some have already passed the prof some are interns and some are droppers right so whatever you are you are a doctor basically right so you can't miss eliza in your career you should know the principle whatever you practice in your future whatever you should know the basic principle behind the eliza if some your some of your neighbor some of your patient giving the report doctor what is the interpretation of this report and it is eliza report you should be able to interpret it now it is positive or it is negative which type of eliza it is it is antigen detection it is antibody detection what is it is semi quantitative what is the load what is antigen what is antibody you should be able to interpret it you got my point so it's very important to understand eliza right and if you are a second prof student now this question is very 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 important for your university exam you can't imagine eliza come for long question 5 marks or 20 marks whatever is your university exam pattern some university exam have long question 5 marks some have long questions 20 marks basically long question you have to write 4 5 pages 
so eliza is one of them right a vital topic which can come in long question and in short question you can get one type of eliza one of the type not all three so if you are getting a long question you will get all three right if you are getting a short question now you will get one of them either sandwich or indirect or competitive whatever so give me a thumbs up you got my point you got my point so okay so obit siddiqui don't worry you just watch the recording you can't miss eliza still if you have any doubt after watching it you already have my contact number so i would like to end the session here so please if you have any doubt don't hesitate to ask here so i will definitely solve your doubt i can send you a voice message or i will type it whatever but i will solve your query so whatever study related query specifically in patho pharma micro medicine psm you are having you can text me here so please text me don't call right either on the whatsapp or on the telegram my contact number is 9833032948 i guess you all have it right and um, maybe as soon as i will get the time it will take a day or two but i will revert you back that is for sure uh, it will be great if you can tell me your college name your university and your probable exam date what exam you are targeting you are targeting a university exam or competitive exam so i can help you with your particular i can give you a tailored a uh, timetable schedule and whatever things important for you per se right so don't hesitate to contact me and thank you very much for giving your precious time to me every every day i love teaching you all and meeting you all every day right so it's a fun to understand in the live class right and interact with each other so thank you very much if you like the class don't forget to click on the like button before leaving the class please share this link on your batch group if you find it useful a little bit useful now share with your colleagues with your batch group and ask them to watch it once to clarify their concept on eliza everyone will like it and everyone will understand the basic i guess right and please if you have not uh, press the bell icon yet for getting further notification on our youtube channel please subscribe our channel and uh, press the bell icon see you all tomorrow with a new topic of pharmacology i guess tomorrow so every day we will study live at 9 am in the morning every day every day so if you have any topic in your mind which you find difficult in patho pharma micro um maybe in the next two days i'm going to start a psm series also on huge demand throughout the india i'm going to start psm series right so in psm series daily we will take two class one of patho pharma micro for the second prof students and one is of psm for the third prof students so if you have any doubt in them and any topic which you find difficult kindly text me we can arrange a class on that topic thank you see you bye bye all the best study hard and stay blessed okay so i'm ending the session